So good afternoon YouTube. Got this pair of cell holders and this pair joined together with the fuse wires. So those are ready to go on my board. And to lay them out I spaced out some lines about three and three quarter inches apart which gives me just a little bit of room about three quarters of an inch between packs so if I ever have to repair any fuse wires I can still get in there but if you were doing something like a 7S, what you might do is solder up the pairs of holders like I did. And then what you could do is solder your little loops of fuse wire on to the tabs on this side of the pack. And then if you tinned the top of the uh, nickel strip here and then just tack the... Uh, fuse wire down to the top of the nickel strip. So that would probably be a, a better way to go if you were doing a larger pack. I found it easier to flip these over and, and solder everything from the back side, so to speak. So anyway, what I got to do is I'll get these lined up on my lines. So you can see with the fuse wire I can just bring the uh, packs in until this edge lines up with my lines. And what I did, I also put some uh, insulating tape underneath the bus bars and also under the tabs on the side. The plan is you screw all these down and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, then I've got this side actually already completed here. So I have my four series packs here, 12 battery positions. Again, I'll be using 10 of these normally, but I figured I'd hook up all 12 just in case. And then I added my uh, eight position terminal strip up here at the top. So I have my five balance leads are wired up here from one, two, three, four, five, most positive here, most negative there. I've got these three positions left for other uses like a BMS perhaps and then what I did was I took some solid core wire here and I formed the pieces to run from the most positive over here and then everything was formed in place. I crimped on spade lugs for the terminal strip and then came down here and soldered the end of the wires to the uh, nickel strip and I put some of the insulation off of some of the battery packs. It's kind of like a cardboard insulation that they use under the terminals on the batteries. So I put some of that underneath here because I was going to be soldering onto the nickel strip sitting on top of the wood. So I didn't want it burning that. And let's see if this works. So I just grabbed a couple of cells here so we can pop these into place. Oh, and then I also added a little balance cable there. So I got a 4S balance cable right there and right there. And there you go. Yeah, I got one, one cell that's a little bit higher than the rest. I think this one got charged up to 4.2 volts and the rest had only been charged up to 4.1. But there you go, I've got 16.2 volts and my balance cable works, so this was just to test it out. I may add a balance cable across the bottom here just so I can have basically two balance cables. One for just plugging in a meter for a quick check and then a second one up off the top that might be plugged permanently into a BMS board or for balance charging or whatever. So I'll need to think about that. First goal here is I've got this one screwed down. I have to screw down the one on the other side over here and then get all my wires, get my terminal strip. So that's going to be over here. I'll put another terminal strip get these screwed down, get all the intercell wiring done, and then in the next video I'll show you how I'm going to uh, actually pick the cells to put into these four 
And then what I did just for temporary for my balance charger is I added an XT60 connector here that I can wire to any of the batteries. So I have it right now wired up across all uh, four packs. So yeah, I'll get the rest of this one done. All the screws and these wires here take quite a bit of time because you've got to kind of form each one. But I tried to keep all the wires uh, down in there, keep them all down and flush and out of the way, and so everything's down tight. I figured the solid core wire would let me get the, the sharper bends. Next step is to try to populate some of these things, and I'll show you what that looks like. So yeah, if you have any questions about this project, post up in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, you can subscribe to the channel. There's a link in the lower right corner. And as always, thanks for watching.